pretty good job. You guys want to come up on stage? Let's go up on stage. Yes, finally. <laughs> All right, Cooper. Cooper, let's go up. Let's go up. Oh, yeah, sit right there, darling. All right, come here, Cooper. Good. Get up there. Get up. Good. Stay. Up. Stay. Good. Lie down. Down. Good. Down. Good. Down. Good. Stay. Good. Use the same motion that she does. <laughs> like this. You just gotta stick your hand out like, yep. There you go. Good job. <laughs> there you go. Aww. You know how to do side acting? Yeah. Good boy. We tried to train so our kids with treats too, it doesn't I work as well. <laughs> Yeah, cats are a lot harder to train. Yep. <laughs> They're not as motivated They're by the same thing. Yes. Yeah. And as the thing, I said, this is how the act of the pounce to fly he mm -hmm. did. So he said, pounce, and he just the pounced by pounce the cat by the couch. And that's how you train him, right? Really? Wow. Right, right. And then, right? Our cat, right? He sneezes a ton. He likes. <laughs> I love how the dog keeps paying attention to you because this is a good training. Yeah. That's one of the biggest things we work on is just them paying attention to us even though there's a lot of other things right. happening, which is very hard. <laughs> it doesn't always work. How do you, let's say I go to a rescue shelter, how do I know which dog is most likely to learn you won't really. Right. Um, I mean, we've had that happen a lot when we rescue dogs. Is a lot of times we bring them here, and they just don't get training. And it just yeah. sometimes it happens. You know, we've had the gambit of all the different types of breeds, and you get good and bad of all the breeds. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that's usually kind of a giveaway is if we go to a shelter and you can do like a meet and greet, and you can kind of hang out with them. If they are kind of coming up to you and engaging with you um, and seem like excited. <laughs> That's probably a good sign that they're going to have that, like, willing to please right. attitude. And so they'll be more interested in participating with you versus a dog that's kind of standoffish and is like, oh, I just want to do my own thing. Is that and it? You can even ask, like, yeah. the workers. Oh, he's got you. With them. Yeah, Since they're right. with it all day, right. they'll know, like, oh, yeah, this dog, like, has no interest in people. Take it close, oh, yeah, every time closer to his car. Aww. 
Nice to meet you. So that's usually like your first indicator is if they're engaging with you Just and interested in you. Um, it's hard because, you know, shelter environment is so different than a home environment. And there's a lot of people to get up Yes. Yeah. So you never know what you're getting and it's hard to gauge when you're there because there's so much different there and it's a very stressful environment for the dogs. So a lot of times they act different there and they might be standoffish and then when you bring them home, they're like super love bugs. Right. And you just never know. But usually, like I said, if they're engaging with you, that's kind of an indicator good. that they're probably going to be a good dog. Um, We're going to have a yard. In about six months, we'll have a new house with a yard. Exciting. So didn't want to have a dog in the apartment. It's just not enough space. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. I lived in an apartment briefly, and I take dogs home from here, and it was a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> also, after that, I trained, tried to train Layla, but she Yeah, our cats aren't aren't easy to train. <laughs> yeah, we have one, um, one Ooh, of our trainers, sorry, she has a real affinity for cats, and she has one of our cats who does a bunch.